I was visiting with the new fish crow fledgling when out of the corner of my eye I caught mother raccoon moving one of her kits up the fence and to the top of a dense palmetto tree. I got this quick video of her carrying the tiny kit upward. I think that was the last kit she moved as I immediately staked out the tree with trail cameras to observe them and didn't see any more go up. She had moved the tiny helpless kits from under my small backyard studio to the elevated safer dense crown of the palmetto where she had fashioned the nest. This is not unusual. When you get out around Florida outdoors, you have no idea what lurks above your head in the trees. Rats, squirrels, raccoons, and even bobcats and bears in remote places all hang out up in the crowns of palm trees. Mother raccoon has to constantly hunt for food night and day for nutrition and energy to nurse and care for the kids until they're able to get around the backyard jungle with her. That will probably be around two more weeks for these little things. So she is out and active in the daytime hunting for food and climbing up and down the tree while leaving the kits to hide in safety. Their danger for the little ones on the ground in the backyard jungle. Mother Raccoon is fearless when protecting her young kits, and the feral cat knows this and gets out of the way. Another Mother Raccoon has four bigger kits in the jungle, and that size is more typical for this time of year. Our backyard mother is running a little late, and her kits are not as big as they normally would be this time of year. The larger rambunctious youngsters want to be on the move and learn the ropes from mom. But even as healthy as these four look and as big as they are, it's unlikely all four will survive in the wild. Mother raccoons are extremely dedicated and fearless and are constantly up and down the tree looking for food to ensure the survival of her precious kits. The nest is so dense it's hard to even see the mother and especially the tiny kits up there. Here we can see the mother bathing and nursing kits, but can only make out the little ring tail of one of the kits. Here we can get a look at one of the kits clearly with night vision binoculars and then mom comes along to check on her. I caught another brief glimpse of a kit while checking on the nest and then later last night around sunset I made contact with mother raccoon and we know each other 
So she came down for a visit and had a nice meal that'll make their lives a little easier for a day or two. Hey, buddy. There you go. Hey, Mama. Gave Mrs. Mrs. Raccoon a banana. About the healthiest thing you can give a raccoon. There you go. Gonna take care of her kids. I'm using this uh, Wild Garter NR1 day-night vision monocular handheld just doesn't have autofocus or image stabilization so monocular it'll make it a little easier for her to take care of her kids and the sun has gone down so this monocular does a pretty good job at low light situations no need to switch over to nighttime IR yet one big ripe banana is a lot of energy for Mrs. Raccoon actually it's a banana that's too dark too, too ripe for my liking. Hang on there, Mr. Hey, I'll go get you some more. I only saw her take one kid up the tree. I assume that was the last one, but it may be the only one. I didn't see a whole lot of sign of You would think that there's not a whole lot of room in that tree. If she had three or four kids, it would be pretty tight up there. But I saw the one going up, and I've only seen one up in the tree, but I'm sure she has more than one. The other mother raccoon in the back has got four kits, and they're considerably bigger. Let's see, a brown banana is about the one of the best things you can give a raccoon when it comes to healthy food. Two banana, two big bananas like that, that keep you going for the whole night. About it, Mama. Didn't have to work too hard for dinner tonight. I'll just go back. <laughs> How about that? Just gonna go back up to her kids. <laughs> That's what you call a quick dinner. Good for you, Mrs. Raccoon. She didn't have to spend all night scrounging for some food. She gets a couple knocks down a couple of bananas. Goes back up and nurses her kids. 
I guess that makes me an uncle, huh? And she's up in the crown there. You can see how hard it is to see anything up there. It's really a good, safe place for a nest. As long as it's not, the weather's not too bad, and we've been in a drought. All right, Mrs. Raccoon. Got her dinner, went right back up to the nest, start nursing her kids.